Welcome to the Inspired to Worship Through the Arts broadcast, a ministry where God's Word comes to life through visual and performing arts. Join us as we unveil the heart of the artist through God's living Word. Here's your host, Danita Gordon. Welcome to Inspired to Worship Through the Arts. This is a ministry that cultivates the people of God to use their natural born gifts to edify the kingdom. This radio broadcast is to highlight some of our Hampton Roads artists. Um, but today we have a special guest all the way from UK and he just wants to inspire us through the arts to keep pursuing our vision, to keep pursuing our dreams, to go after what God has called you to do, to don't worry about resources, but just take that leap of faith. Why don't you introduce yourself to the listening audience? Hello, lovely and wonderful people out there in the USA. My name is Jojo Emmanuel Lawson. I am a gospel artist based in London, UK. And I love the Lord. I love singing all day, every night, anytime, anywhere. It's a great, great, great blessing to come your way today to share. So Jojo, what do you have to say on today for our listening audience? I'm just here to tell you about the amazing things that God is doing in my life through singing and touching lives in London. I'm really excited to have you here today, and I have the opportunity to hear you minister through music and sharing the Word of God. And so it's just such a powerful thing to have you come and share your testimony with us on today. I love singing all day, every night, anytime, anywhere. It's a great, great, great blessing to come your way today to share my testimony and, and for you to hear about me. I've been singing for nearly 26 years. I have had the opportunity to minister in about 10 countries, ranging from Germany to Switzerland to Holland, Italy, ministered in the USA and a couple of churches in Virginia and Ireland, and also have had the opportunity to sing in Africa by the grace of God. And I give the glory to God for that. And I'm very, very passionate about the things of God because growing up as a young boy, I always looked up to the fact that God has called me to be able to share a testimony. It's been amazing. It's been wonderful. It's a privilege beyond description that God has given to me to be able to share to people about what God is doing. You mentioned that you started out at a very young age. I'm sure that throughout the course of your life, you've set limitations on your vision. Oftentimes, you know, our age and our feelings of just being inexperienced can really hinder us from moving forward with the plans that God has for our life. I can recall in scriptures where Joseph was only 17 years old when God gave him a dream, when God gave him a vision. But it was important that he waited on the fulfillment of that vision because a lot of people don't really understand all that God is speaking to us through vision and dreams. Fundamentally, the Bible says that to whom much is given, much is required. What that simply means is that whoever is given something or is entitled or entrusted with something, it is expected that you take good care of it or you use it properly. And that's what it is. God has given us life. And not only has he given us life, he's given us a talent, a gift, a potential. And the Bible says that we would all give an account of our life on the day of judgment. And it's important that we understand that. Because the fact that you and I are alive it is an opportunity for us to be mindful that we don't have enough time on earth. So we've got to use it wisely. I've had the opportunity to see you minister through song and you're very passionate about worshiping the Father and rendering such a sweet sound of worship to God. I just love singing. I, I'm passionate about just worshiping God and singing forth his praises and exalting his name. And meaning every word that I say and I sing with the understanding that the words that I say are directly being heard by God. You also have a radio ministry, which is a powerful tool with evangelism. Can you just tell us a little bit more about your radio broadcast? 
I am a radio presenter as well on a London radio station in the UK, and it's called Rainbow Radio. Code it's UK, or it's called Rainbow Radio to be precise. And I've been on this radio station coming to nearly two years now, and I do my own radio show every Sunday evening, London time, UK time, 10 p.m. And it's been amazing having listeners from the Philippines and across the world. And fundamentally, it's an African station, but My show is a Christian radio show, and I, I do that. Well, this is definitely the season that God wants us to pursue our dreams. One of the things that stops us from doing what God has called us to do, or what we're good for, or what we're supposed to be doing—I'm talking about talents and potentials—is fear. Fear hits everybody. Fear hits the blind. Fear hits the person that has got the sight. Fear hits. The black man, fear hits the white man, fear hits the Spanish, fear hits the Mexican, fear hits the African, anybody else. Why don't you share with the listeners how they should overcome fear and just do what God is telling them to do in this season? When fear hits you, you've got to understand that the opposite of fear is faith. Never forget that. You've got to have faith, and faith will surpass that fear. Everybody experiences fear, as I say. But the Bible says in the book of First John, chapter number four, verses number four. And guess what it says? I love that. I love that. It says that, my dear children, my dear children, you have overcome the world. Amazing. Guess what? You have overcome the world. For greater is He that is in you than He that is in the world. That's what the Bible says, and it tells you. That you have overcome the world. What that means is that listen, you don't need to fear. Yes, we have the all days and all times, but dig deep into your heart and your soul and your spirit, and have that understanding that you are more than a conqueror. Romans chapter eight will tell you that. He says that for you are more than a conqueror. We are more than conquerors. Very powerful information that you're sharing with our listeners on today. Well, you have a new album getting ready to come out this summer, and we can't wait to hear it. What can the listeners expect to hear from you? I'm launching my first CD after singing 25 years or ministry for 25 years. It's coming out in London. It's coming out in London on the 12th of August. Well, this has just been such a joy to have you here with us on today. Why don't you share with us how we can follow you? How can they get in contact with you? You can get details of me or check me out on Facebook. It is J O J O. And then it's Emmanuel Lawson, Emmanuel with an I, and then hyphenated Lawson. So Jojo, Emmanuel with an I, and then hyphenated Lawson. And it's I've got my website as well. It is Jojo Emmanuel hyphenated Lawson. That's me. I want you to check me out and send me a message. You can find me there. But look out for my music coming out on 12th of August. If you want to come to London, England, come on. You can come and join in. It's going to be exciting. But I love you so much. God bless you. Thank you all for listening in on today. Listen, continue to do what God is calling you to do. No matter your age, no matter your experience, whatever God is speaking for you to do during this season. It is important that you fulfill it and you tell God, "Yes, yes, I will obey. Yes, I will do what you are asking me to do, because it's going to be important for kingdom building. It's going to be important that we continue to commit ourselves unto the Lord and fulfill the purpose that He's established for our life." Well, until next week, continue to be inspired. Thank you so much for tuning in today. You can find additional information about today's broadcast by visiting Curating the Arts Facebook page. To support this ministry, visit our website at EmmanuelWorshipDeliveranceintl.com, or just join us for worship at Emmanuel Worship and Deliverance Ministries International, located at 3539 East Ocean View Avenue in the Great City of Norfolk. Until next time, be inspired to worship.